meet Susie the Shih Tzu, officially owned by Sylvie Barlow, but doted on by husband Bill, who's a bit of a softy. The Barlows are off to Tunisia, and Susie's getting all tarted up before going to a carer. Oh, yeah. Bill is soft on her, he treats her like a baby. Feeds her biscuits and any goodies that he's having, he's got to share them with her. Gives her his toast and anything he's eating, he's feeding her as well. I'll give a bit. If I have a biscuit, she has a biscuit. You know, but I don't believe in that, because you can't overfeed them and give them too much of the sweet stuff. And oh, yeah, but she's not overweight, is she? No. Susie will be taken into the home of the Whites. Jean White isn't that keen on dogs, but tolerates them for the sake of her husband, Dave. I know it's a waste of time to... I saw him get a few stains up from the last dog before the next one comes. Dave has always been a bit of a one for the ladies, and it dawned on Jean, the third Mrs White, that if he's got a dog to play with, it keeps his mind off other things. My problem in life is that I, I came from a very, very loving family. My mother and father were very, very loving, and my mother was always cuddling me and kissing me as a child. And as I've grown up, I've grown up into a cuddly, kissy sort of life. Uh, I mean, I'm always grabbing hold of Jean and, uh, and all this. Well, having a dog sort of alleviates part of this. Because Jean will tell you what I'm like when I'm out. Women of all ages all respond ladies, to it. Yeah. Yeah, and right. the young ones. Oh, and the young ones, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but is he prepared for this little lady? Sit. Sit. Well, she sleeps on this, it's her beanbag cushion by the side of the bed. Suze. But in the night, you will Suze. try to get your legs down, yeah. and she's popped herself on the bottom of the bed. Because I'm sure he'd sooner have her in bed than me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not very nice, is it? <laughs> this, is a, this is a flea spray. Not that there's any fleas here, but... In case there's any eggs or anything that are hatched out from the previous dog. This stuff here is a pet behave spray, which I spray on the corners of the chairs and round here. What do you say? I love my dog. Hello. Hello. I've got a dog for you. Hello. Well, she sleeps on her bed at the side of our bed, but in the night she'll jump on the bed. But oh, well, we won't ever... <laughs> no, that's right, that's right. But we I don't, don't either, I can go Don't her sleeping at the top of the stairs. No, we'll just put her bed up there and she'll know where her bed is. Oh, right. She'll be fine. OK. Yeah, she'll be fine. Yeah, we... Because uh, when not, she stays at my son, she doesn't play in the bed. got fleas, but... No, she hasn't. If a, <laughs> if a dog comes here, they've got fleas, we get them up in the bed. Well, that's right, know, that's yeah. right. So we just don't no, take the she certainly hasn't got fleas. No. All right. I think she's settling in all right, don't you? Yeah. She's friendly. Well, if you're friendly to her, she's friendly back. Yeah. You know, yeah. and so she'd do anything for her. She's really good. You're going to be all right with Uncle Dave, are you, baby? Anyone yeah. that's nice to her, she yeah. just yeah. worships them. Yeah, <laughs> she'd be all right with Uncle <coughs> Dave, yeah. Lanzarote. Hello, is that Fred? Hello, it's Linda. Oscar, all right, how are you? When, when did he stop being sick then? Oh, oh, that's good. How is he behaving? <laughs> Come on. You think he's enjoying himself? <laughs> now look this way, Pat. I want to paint your ears. They're big fat wood pigeons, are they? That's a good girl. Chase the pigeons away. <laughs> Two ninety nines, please. You're not attacking those gnomes, are you? You great bully. Where's mine? It really breaks the ice when you've got an animal with you. It's nice, and I think it's not only nice for myself, but for other people that are possibly living on their own. If you've got a dog with you, people immediately say hello as though you're an old friend. I'm quite pleased to see you. Yeah. Mm. 
seems to be interested in the bowls. <laughs> uh, you're going to take it up when you go up. <laughs> I understand the feeling of being separated. I had to leave home as a youngster and it's quite a hard strain on me. I was moved to a children's home by my mother and father. They actually told me to go there with the help of a social worker because I had troubles living with my parents and going to school. I just wouldn't go to school. That's why I understand the dogs because when the owners go off on their holidays and the dogs come to us, they're going through exactly the same thing as we as I went through, you know, if, as if, if they've been dumped. Since we've been looking after the dogs, uh, me and Freddie have got on much better. Good boy, Oscar. Your mummy's going to be pleased, isn't she, eh? When we're on our own, it doesn't seem that much interest in each other, you know, but when the dogs come, it's a different story because we both take care of the dogs. Should we do some training? Every time I've spoken to a dog, they've listened. They've always agreed with me by licking me or by waggling their tail. Stay. I've always Good talked boy. to them about my troubles. Stay. I was talking to Oscar last Stay. night and he sort of sat there and looked at me with his little worried eyes in the way of saying, well don't worry about it, things will become better. Good boy. <laughs> I don't think I need to ask if you're happy, do I? Silly little grin on your face. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Ow! <laughs> Here, I tell you, to go and meet my friends. Oh, oh, thank you, Oh, oh, it's shy. Shall we find out which table we're on, Pat? Shall we? We're on. Thanks. Which one did you say, Kathy? Thanks. Now, look here again. Oh, I'm in charge. Do you understand? You mustn't bite. You've got an extra helper today, total. Oh, some help. Yeah. His parents have gone on holiday. Can I have your attention, please? The first question is, which breed of dog is named after a Mexican province? Yeah, I can see. No, I did not. You think no, it's I don't think so. Name Doris's dog in The Wizard of Oz. I know. I know. <laughs> just said that about six times. <laughs> you will go up to Bye Bye's, haven't you, lad? You're being back. And go to Bye Bye's like a good little girl. Hey? But no mummy, no daddy. Oh, she's all alone in the world. Poor little soul. And you? Shall I sing to you? Someone else's baby, someone else's little pride and joy, someone else's baby, someone's little pocket of joy. Did you like that one, eh? Did you like that one? Time to say good night. <laughs>